Yeah. One time I did an impression of Letterman, right? And then I had to be on Letterman, like three weeks later. So when I was on, I was like, oh, fuck, how am I going to deal with this when he brings it up, like, that I did an impression of him, you know? And then the, these fucking uh, guys that are so close to Letterman, they're like, well, he, he never saw it. He's not going to fucking talk about it. That's not fucking Dave. Dave's, there's no way Dave's going to bring it up. Dave just doesn't fucking do that. He hasn't seen it. And I go, well, he phoned me, you know, and shit. And he's, he, he's like, yeah, but he, he, we know Dave, you know. So I go, stupidly, I don't prepare anything. So then right at the end of the interview, he goes, so let's hear it. You know, I'm like, oh, fuck, shit. These motherfuckers didn't know Dave at all. I, why would I think they would know Dave? Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, why wouldn't I just fucking have something prepared? So I have to do the impression, like, fucking just searching my brain for the right thing to say, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they not, have... Not prepared. I could have been did it right. They imagine what he would uh, do as opposed to really know what he yeah, would do. They yeah. think, oh, well, he would... But I should have gone with my own fucking idea because I would go, what else would he do? Well, I tell you that all the time. You don't listen to me. What the... Do you feel like you know Dave now? I mean, he, he loves yeah, you, right? I don't know him at all. I'm, I never met him. He, like, he's invited me to dinners, but I never went. How Man. come? Scared. Yeah, I get that. Gets, we were talking about it. Earlier, like I got invited by Carson for a, a private lunch with Carson. Tell me you didn't go. Didn't go. <laughs> because you know I what? I used to do like a pressure of Larry King doing news and views from uh, you know he used to do news and views those little bulletin points in USA Today where he'd go like if you see one movie make it Mickey Blue Eyes you know <laughs> so I I did it like on, on SNL you know we did it with like <laughs> I just do crazy one liners like you know. Uh, Yellow is a great color, but for my money, it's always going to be blue. Or whatever. <laughs> Just retarded stuff. But anyways, it turned out Carson always when Carson would get USA Today and he'd get he'd go right to Larry King. This was before I did the impression, and he'd just phone his buddies up and he'd go, "Hey, listen, to this retarded one." He said, "Like, for my money, you know, Ted Williams was a one, you know," and he'd talk. He'd say it to his friends, Carson, which was funny, you know, like phoning and it's so funny that he even he would do that, you know. So anyways, then he wanted to have lunch with me. So I didn't, like a retard. What do you do? How do you make up an excuse that doesn't make them feel like you're blowing them off? Well, he knows I'm not blowing off Johnny Carson. It's not like Johnny Carson. No, they might think that. Me. Like, if I was that big and I invited someone to lunch and they didn't go, I have to admit, here's what I would think. I'd think, oh, really? Like, you know. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm David Letterman. I'm that big, but my name's Todd Glass. I know this seems cocky, maybe. But, I uh, think uh, hold that, on, hold on, hold I, on. I, I don't think so you're... If, if I invited someone to my house, they was on the show, a comedian, a young comedian, uh, I invite them to the house. I'm, try, I'm, being, I'm really trying to think. And then I'm that big. I have to keep thinking. I'm that big. And then they don't show. I might sarcastically... You know, some other friends will go, really, really, uh, Bing well, Bang doesn't, you know, Bing Bang doesn't I show up. What's him. he doing? I didn't, so... like, not show up. I didn't have, like, a... Oh, right, it uh, seems uh, like I'm making... I didn't oh. have a lunch no, date. No, 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 no. I get it. Like, I think if Johnny called him personally and said, do you want to go to... Like, yeah, yeah. You'd, no. you'd go. Of course. But yeah. I think I think he was like in no. passing, hey, Norm. No, I got my the, my management phone. He said, Johnny you. Carson you, wants to have lunch you. with you. And I thought I was all thrilled. And then I was like, holy fuck. What am I going to... Like, I'll be all alone with him talking. And I, I won't have any stories. I can't go like... Uh, Anyways, one time, Chris uh, Catan, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't see the cue card. I have no stories at all to tell Johnny Carson, you know? So uh, I go, fuck, this is going to be hard, like two hours just with Johnny Carson, like trying to interview him properly or whatever. And then I thought if I brought a buddy, it would be fun, like, but he can't, you know, I can't just bring a buddy. If if I could if I could share it with somebody, but otherwise it would be very hard work. And by, and by the way, but uh, I regret not going. I should have gone. But also, as as you're sitting there, I'm thinking my purpose of saying that wasn't I wasn't I wasn't like it wasn't thing. I wouldn't do the same thing. Like I could totally see being so nervous that like if if there's a third person, that makes it a tremendous amount easier. That oh, third person, especially is if a it's a mutual. If you went friend. with your buddy, you'd go see anybody. Yeah. 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 So, but I was just, but I for a second thinking what, uh, you know, it's here's odd the reason that, I think that he's not calling you. Um, what's odd, it's odd to hear you say that you he's don't dead, feel like you know Dave at all because, like, every time you're on the show, it seems like he's, he's like so excited to see you and you guys have such great chemistry together. I, uh, I could have sworn you guys were like hanging out. No, I don't know David. I don't know David Letterman. I like to see when uh, when you could tell, and I think it usually, and then we'll move on to something else because I always say it's nice to get compliments, but if someone's, it makes you an awkward to sit there and just receive them. But you can just put up with it for another second. But it's fun to see your friends when they're on a show like that where you can tell Dave like appreciates that they mm -hmm. bring their their game, 
And that's fun. I see it with Spade a lot, too. I feel like they both know. Like, and same thing well, with I you. Think, I feel uh, like they, you came prepared it, yeah. to fucking... Well, it's fun because they have to fucking talk to all these actresses and all the time and shit like right. that. So like, you know that's a joy for them to hear somebody being funny right. and shit and, mm-hmm. and, not the, and them not having to do all the fucking work of... Uh, you know, dragging a story out of uh, out of uh, you know uh, the girl from from third in from the new th- show that got canceled from, from, the, the, from uh, the badge. I'm not trying. I'm trying to pick, pick yeah, a show that doesn't somebody, exist yeah, know, because I know, I know. I every show. Exists. I don't want to hit one person. Two two women and a duck. <laughs> Where's a uh, cowbell when I need one? I was going to be Martin Short's friend for a while. We were in negotiations. Yeah, what, <laughs> how'd that break down? I don't know. I met him. He was fucking funny, and and he made me laugh, and he was laughing at me and shit. So I said, "Hey, we should be friends and stuff." And he said, "Yeah, well, let's be friends. You go to a cottage." And I was like, "Ah, fuck! I'd have to go to a cottage, you know." And then so <laughs> I never, it. it never caught on because the cottage was in my head and shit. What do you but mean? Still, I would like you know that guy would be cool to I fucking know. hang out but with. What do you I mean met him. That would be a good friend. The of going to a cottage. You understand? I don't want to go to a cottage. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the problem. All of a with you. sudden, you're going on a cottage on a plane. But that's you go, the problem. Maybe I Norm, should have done this. Norm, what? That's the problem What's with that? you. So if someone suggests something right away, it's not too guarded. Cool. I know what you're it's saying it's not too. It's you're not. It's not cool enough for you. Where would no, you go cool with Martin enough. Short? I think, uh, I think Martin Short says, "Let's go to a cottage." No, I'm and not hang saying out. that. I'm yeah. saying like I, I think you were right when I said I'm too guarded. Like yeah, I'm not willing to, be, to do things. You don't want to be trapped in a cottage with Martin Short. No, I no, I love that part. The idea of being friends with Martin Short is fun. The idea of being in a cottage with Martin Short. <laughs> and then having the pressure to talk and yeah, interact yeah. with one another. Yeah. I understand I'm the yeah. same way. Yeah. It wouldn't work out for you, yeah. and it wouldn't yeah. work out for me either. But you go on that vacation. But maybe in another uh, lifetime. Yeah. <laughs>